morning everybody welcome to the show back on the creek again i got jp with me he's up there look at the water we got here it is just flowing hot and it's deep kind of wishing i brought waders but we're going to tear it up and get into it today figure something out i think we got enough to run that big sluice today i'm running about two or three buckets at a time maybe but today's going to be the last hurrah for me for the year the rest of the year i got a couple I got a couple recordings I hadn't showed y'all yet, so I'll still have stuff coming out. But I'm going to be building the gold room, so I'm going to be showing you some time-lapse stuff of that and setting that up. And I have several buckets to run. I'm hoping I got 30 gallons, but I'm going to shoot for 40. But I hadn't counted lately. But we got a bunch there to go through, and that's going to be a lot of fun. And in January or February, I don't know how much mine is going to be done, but I have a lot of plans to go out and do some... Uh, prospecting and exploring and doing some ventures like that i have about 10 places i want to take a look at and it'll be a good time just to go out and walk and not worry about trying to mine up a bunch of stuff just see what's going on here's jp coming down the trail we're ready to get in it today all right let's find some gold water's about too deep running too hot we're trying to find places to set up the sluice place to get some pay I I'm getting pretty good at cherry picking little spots here. I got me a little spot there about where that shovel is. Well, more over there, right there, where I got it from. Let's see if you can see this. Oh yeah, that's nice. So that's a good spot. It's gonna take a lot for it to get out. I mean. Trying to break up some of this impact through here. Trying to get these things set up in this heavy flow. We're starting to appreciate now how uh, good we had it last couple trips out of here. Uh, yeah, we, we needed to dam up a little bit, get the right kind of flow, but today, just too much flow. And it's uh, causing problems. It's, it's raised the water level. It's making it too deep to really get into where we were working, unless we got some good waders. But we just got our boots on today, so we gotta find a new spot to really work. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make the best of all of this and find a little bit of gold. Here's my first run of the day. There's some nice little chunky bits in there. That's not too bad. I'll spin it again and see if I can get more. I want a whole lot of black sand with it, really. So maybe it's not the best spot in the world. But hey, I found nice gold. JP's over here. We're still fighting this water, trying to get this thing to set up right where you can run that thing. the water way too much back down that way so i'm going a little expedition up stream a little bit to a nice looking spot i'm going to do throw three test pans and see what they look like and decide if it's worth the big move come up here and do some sluicing show you what it looks like got a strong shadow today sun's right in my back water's flowing nice it's going all around here there's a like a u-shaped bend up there and it curves a few times and it's really straight for a long time this is a series of curves before another long straightaway. There's not even bedrock in sight, but you can see some large rocks on this impact point, and the creek does just curves all the way around, and it keeps going down into another right curve, and then directly into a left curve. A lot of S's through here. Let's see if we can find any gold in all this. Where should I dig first? I'm thinking right up there. But maybe that's what a lot of people have thought. We'll find out. All right, test pan one. I see a fleck and four specks. All right, on to number two. After that first pan, which was kind of nice, boy, I went on some skunks there. A couple micros, two, three, even four. Finally on the fifth pan, I did find well, you might have been able to see it there. That sun is casting a hard shadow. There's uh, three or four little tiny specks in there. 
I really wanted to come up here and work, but I, I really can't find any consistent gold. I got lucky with one fleck, but it's a lot of skunks. And I uh, usually don't get a lot of skunks, so I'm not going to try to move on up here. I'm going to have to make do where I'm at. Well, I'm finally sluicing again. I got me a couple buckets of material up and going here. and Started running this, and I was like, I can't just get one set up today to save my life up. But a black walnut had floated in there and jammed in there somehow. So we're back to running good again. that run there's probably more to swirl out a second time there's some flaky bits in there it's not too bad JP's come down here he just found two of the biggest flakes ever seen turn around and he's standing in my hole I don't know what he's thinking <laughs> today I'm gonna try the grape amino energy drink and the outright chocolate chip peanut butter protein bar to get me back going again. Let's see how they are. Well, that uh, grape energy drink, that might be the best energy drink I ever tasted. And this thing here is pretty good too. Uh, a good solid little thing. Even though it's small, I think it's going to uh, keep the wolves at bay, so they say. This uh, snack time has been brought to you by Soldier 898. I got a next run here done. Slow going, not a lot of gold. Got some prospecting music going over there. Hey y'all, I've been a little slack about filming this afternoon. Haven't been a whole lot to show. Uh, a couple sluice runs and just some a few little specks here and there. And the the gold's really running out. And I've been doing uh, test pans and did a test run somewhere where I had a good pan and yeah, it just didn't work out there. But I keep trying new spots, trying to find new things, and JP's determined up there to find a, a good spot, and he's working hard at it right now. But I did run, fifth run, starting to look a little better. Let me show you what I've got. All right, that's probably the best run of the day for me, I think. Uh, uh, several flaky bits, I mean, that's some bigger bits. Not as many bits, but a lot of it's bigger. So I'm gonna keep working exactly where I got that from. All right, that's all from Benzo and JP out here at the creek today. We did a lot of adventure around, a lot of test pans, and we were trying to find the gold, but we found some, but not as good as last time, and the flaky bits. So JP, he got all the flaky bits today. I didn't see them on screen. I was down here, and he was over there, but you'll have to watch his video to see those nice flaky bits he pulled up. Uh, it's probably the biggest pieces, look like the biggest pieces we've pulled out since we've been coming out here together. But I got my last uh, run, and I emptied out my snuffer bottle. I'm going to turn around and show you what it looks like. Until next time, get in the creek and get that gold. Well, that's the whole snuffer bottle. There's some flaky bits in there, some chunky pieces. It seems like a lot less finer bits. We had a real hard time with the uh, water levels today. The water's so high that our good solution spot doesn't really have the drop. And if you keep it too level it backs up and if you drop it too much then it goes over the bottom sides and it backs up and loses all power so it's kind of kind of a losing situation there with the sluice and so I think a lot of the finer stuff was blowing on through but that's a good amount of gold a little crescent looking shape piece that's cool Merry Christmas YouTube so that was JP and my uh, third adventure out in Uwari. Had a really good day. He found some nice bits. I found some nice flakes. But it was all too much water for what we were trying to do. And we lost, I think I lost 30% of the fine stuff. Well, 30% of the total gold. So back in the YouTube room. And I hope everybody's feeling festive and having a nice merry holiday. I've, I'm pretty merry right now. Um, what I got here is all this gold and I got two little mini adventures. I'm going to mosh them up into one and then do the big weigh-in 
uh, next week will be the last episode of the year. And uh, I've had about four days where I set aside to try to do some work outside and it's just been raining buckets. So I really haven't got too much done other than planning and uh, got to do a lot of planning. So I got some gold here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work out what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour it out and see what we got. Y'all can guess. Let's see what it is and we'll see you next week. I'll weigh this part up and then to the total and see if we hit the two grams for the season. If not, I think I got close to 50 gallons of material set aside that I, I think I can get a quarter gram or a half gram. Just try to be realistic. I could get lucky and find a nice chunk in there. Um, so let's get to it. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, check it out. Looks nice. This will just been the last trip. I got it zoomed all the way out, too. Boom, boom. Nice little bits in there. Looks good. So I'm going to just, I'm going to put this, uh, suck this up in the master snuff bottle and get the black sand in the black sand bottle and repeat process and get the big, big boy out. So there's the gold. How much do you think it is? I'm going to swirl it around in different ways. one nice big bit there but that's still just a, a it's not even a poker it's a it'll stick to you it's a sticker all right i spread the gold around a little bit there we need something for size don't we okay there's a bullet it's a regular 22 long rifle bullet you can see the gold i think it's Point two. See that light gold's heavy, but you gotta have a lot of it. My scales aren't very fine either, so it's probably just point two, maybe point three if I'm lucky. So it looks like we're gonna be short of the uh, two two grams. So I better get that gold room running so I can pull some gold out of that material, or I'll be out there just panning away. Well, that's everything for me here in the YouTube room. Hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas and you get to spend it with your friends and loved ones and you have a really good time and you get what you asked Santa for. Looks like I might fall short on the season goal, but that's the second time I extend the season goal. I think I'll set next season goal at, at two grams and We'll see how that works out. Uh, hopefully I can prospect some better areas and start producing a little better gold. And I got a lot of neat places I want to check out. I don't know if they have gold or not. Some of them I know they do. Some of them I have no clue. It's going to be a real fun adventure getting out there and checking out some of these creeks. Some of them are a good hike. And some of them I have to get permission. So we'll work all that out. Until next time, in the creek, get that gold.